Shalom, guys. How are you guys doing today? Um, I just want to get something off my chest real quick. You guys know I like to come to you with some light and fluffy, um, heartfelt videos, right? Because a lot of people are stressing and a lot of people are in the wrong dimensions. And some of them don't know how to... Um, don't know how to work themselves out of it and I try my best to give videos that will assist you in that nature in a loving and caring way um, times but this is this is why I come to you like this time on a planet is serious it is so serious as much as I like to make those fluffy light-hearted loving videos at the same time you need to make the videos I feel that I need to make those videos that's going to hit straight to the point and not sugarcoat shit because we don't have time for sugarcoating. You know, now if you are living in a dimension and you are in heaven on earth and you are blissful and there's nothing wrong with your life and you are in the dimension that you need to be in, these videos are not for you. That makes sense. It's apparent that none of my videos are for you, right? You've already made it. You are already there. As much as people would like to think that there is no such thing. Yes, there is. People are living blissful, beautiful lives. And they're not struggling. They're not suffering. Because they've done the work. And this is why I come to you today. Because if your life is going to be a reflection of how much spiritual work you put into your world, your reality, how much are you willing to sacrifice? How much, how hard are you willing to work to get the shit that you need? How hard? We can no longer sit on our hands. If you see, which I have to go back into, peep my head inside of the matrix to see what's going on because I don't live there. But if you're seeing what's playing out, then you know fire should be under your ass to get your shit together. This is only if you are in those realms of reality where shit is just not right. And you want to work hard to get out of that realm or frame of reality because you're tired of suffering. Take a hard look at yourself and a hard look at your life and where you're at. If it don't feel good and if you're in a cycle of repeat, you're suffering and you don't like it, change it. You have to change it sooner than later. There is no time to be playing around in the matrix and get caught up in the bullshit that's out there that is going to take your life. And you know, I was going to say I hate coming to you like this. I don't like but I I I don't know no other way because it's the people that I love dearly, truly to my heart that understands me and knows that I come from a place of love and I don't want to see you suffer. I don't want to see you experience pain. I want to see you blissful and happy. Your life is reflecting what spiritual work you are putting in. Put in the work, change your reality. And stop listening to these dumbass people out here who don't know what the fuck they're talking about. You look at their life and see, is that what you want to emulate? Look at it and see, is that where I want to be? What What is this person talking about? So many people are still being, so many people are still being fucked up. And they think that suffering forever is a term of God's endearment. That is not true. God
God does not want you to suffer. You suffer to learn a lesson. You take that lesson and you change your life from it. But then there's no, after a certain point, there's only maintenance. There's no more suffering. Do you know what I'm saying? Okay. So please. And check this out. If I ever get to a point where I'm continuously suffering and you see that in all of my videos, stop watching me. Don't watch me anymore. This girl has lost her. This girl has fell off. Something is not right. I brought suffering on myself. And if I am suffering to a point where I'm on drugs, I don't look right, I am homeless, I am, you know what I'm saying? I have hit rock bottom. Delete me out of your life. That's what I want you to do. If that ever happens, just delete me. My soul family will pick me up. But I don't ever want you to watch. I am talking about living a spiritual life. And if I can't talk the talk or walk the walk, I don't deserve anybody's views. Do you know what I'm saying? If your life is reflecting suffering, you're not doing enough spiritual work. Get busy. Stop looking at these individuals who are still suffering. Turn them off. Turn somebody else on that you admire, that you love watching because their life reflects their spirituality. Find those people. Continue to listen to those people. That's where you want to be. Because time is an illusion, of course, but it's running out. I love you guys. Thanks for watching.